Well, John, a fantastic effort from your side. Was a point the least they deserved tonight? Oh, yeah, I think so. I was, I was so proud of the effort of the group. You know, we asked for a reaction after Saturday's disappointing result, um, and I certainly got that. You know, I was very proud of the, the efforts of all the lads. Um, you know, so yeah, I think I think a point's fair overall. But you know, obviously we're disappointed to to, to not win. Mm -hmm. but to go toe to toe with one of their promotion favourites, what will that do for, for the lads and the atmosphere in that dressing room? I think the, 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 the dressing room at the moment is, is good. It's confident anyway. You know, everyone was disappointed with Saturday's resort and performance. And uh, I asked for a reaction tonight, and we certainly got that. Um, so, you know, the boys are driving themselves in there. You know, the, they've got a lot of young lads in there. A lot of, uh, we've got some good, experienced boys. So, you know, the togetherness, which I've asked for from day one, is certainly here at the moment. And I think that showed tonight in the game. Mm. And I know whenever we talk after games, you stress the point that it's built on the foundation of hard work. And you could, you could see that out there tonight, couldn't you? Yeah, 100%. You know, from, from Troy and Scott at the top and to Dion, Trusty and Maxi at the back, you know, all the, the whole team were, were outstanding about the ball. You know, I thought we controlled the game about the ball tonight uh, fairly well against an unbelievable football team in, in Watford. You know, they've got an um, unbelievable squad, fantastic players, and I'm, su I'm sure they'll be in the top two come the end of the season. So, so I was very pleased with, with the performance of the boys. Um, but, you know, as I said, there's a lot of hard work ahead. You know, we're making small steps here. There's going to be lots of ups, there's going to be downs. But the most pleasing thing was that we stuck together tonight and, and we got a, a good hard fought point. Mm, of course, there's going to be spells of pressure when you come up against a team as good as Watford. But it felt uncomfortable for them at times, didn't it, here at St Andrews? Is that what it needs to be here? Of course it does. And I've asked them from day one, my job here at the club is connect, to connect the fans back with the footballing team. And, um, you know, it's vital that we get the, the fantastic build Birmingham fans right behind us, you know, even for the tough times. And today, you know, the fans were amazing as, as they have been uh, from day one. And, um, you know, long hope it continues. Yeah. Two changes to the side that lost at Cardiff. Let's talk through the both of them. First of all, Josh Williams in at that right wing back position. Did his performance at Cardiff earn him the opportunity tonight? 100%. You know, he was, I thought he was brilliant against um, Norwich in his debut. Um, he, he really made a difference coming on on Saturday. And uh, yeah, he was up against the top, top left wing back today. And he certainly um, stood up to it. And, uh, you know, uh, I was really proud of his performance. And hopefully, long, long may it continue. Mm. Moving on to George Hall. Just turned 18 last month what a dream uh, first league start of the season for George and the composure he showed at the edge of the box to not try and break the back of the net but to just stroke the ball home showed probably maturity beyond his years yeah listen he's a class act you know he, he's a class act he's going to have a massive future in the game for sure I was delighted for him you know as JJ you know Willow you know Changi you know all the young boys here have been brilliant um, they've stood up to the plate and, and they've really put markers down but the most important thing is we don't get carried away with these performances you know it's my job to protect them uh, to play them when they, they need to be playing and, and, and to rest them when you know when I, when I need to do that as well so there's no pressure on them young boys we've got fantastic seniors in the group which are helping them um, get through vital periods of the games and um, you know we've also got good young boys pushing in Jobs and, and others you know Joe Bellingham and, and what not, um, and Tatey so you know the, the group's good at the moment we've got a good mix and um, you know there's lots of hard work ahead yeah, you look at the goal conceded. If you have a chance to, to have a look back at it, because it's unfortunate, you know, they score and at the end of a little bit of a spell of pressure, we couldn't just quite get through that little spell. Yeah, it, it was a shame, but listen, I don't think John had that much to do tonight. You know, I think two shots he had to save. Uh, we were under a lot of pressure, but I thought we defended fantastically well. Uh, we always looked a threat on the transition. Um, so, no, a lot of hard work the boys are putting tonight, and I was very proud. Yeah, showing a bit of character again because momentum then swings their way. They've just scored, they're in the ascendancy with 25 minutes still to play but they stood up again and steadied themselves didn't they? They did and, and that's all I've asked for. I've asked us to be hard to play against, organised, have a good structure without the ball and uh, you know in the in the first four or five games you know they've certainly done that. Yeah, just a word on Mark Roberts, not in the match day squad, obviously came off at the weekend, how's he? Yeah, no, he, he's, um, he had a, a slight uh, strain to the thigh, hopefully it won't be too long, hopefully, you know, seven to ten days. Uh, he was obviously a miss tonight, but Dion stepped in, Max, he was, was excellent at the right side of a three, and, and so was Trusty. So, again, we're asking players to st stand up to the, uh, to step up to the plate, uh, whoever we play, you know, however old, however young, you know, they're ready to fight for the, 
for the club. Yeah, and a word on the support. Again, you come here at St Andrews, we talked about how difficult it is for teams to come here, and you just sense that when the lads needed that little lift, they got it from the stands. They did, you know, I was so proud of the fans when once Watford scored, you know, the chance from the Blues fans was unbelievable. You know, it certainly calmed everyone down, and I think the, the fans put on, uh, sorry, the players put on a real proud performance for them tonight. Yeah, I want to finish with a booking that you got down the side. You've not quite got that turn of pace to go and receive the ball anymore, have you? <laughs> no, I haven't, but I was obviously getting a bit excited. I uh, just wanted to get the ball in. I'm not allowed to leave the technical um, area, so, um, you know, the referee was straight on me. I think he booked me a few times when I was playing as well, so he had a little smile to his face. <laughs> Thanks as always. Yeah. Thank you.